Is the Nikon D5300 a great camera? Let's discuss. Everybody, welcome to the first Rose Relish Gear Talk. Now, I'm not much of a camera nerd, but I do use a camera pretty regularly to take pictures of my kids, our travels, and just general life stuff. Um, and the Nikon D5300 with this kit lens, 18 to 55 millimeter, was our first real nice camera. It's a DSL. It's still a great camera today. We bought it about four years ago with the birth of our first child and have loved it. It takes great pictures. But in the last, I don't know, six months or so as we've gotten a little bit more into taking videos, the shortcomings of this camera have started to present themselves and it's a big reason why we're switching to a different brand. But before we get into why we're switching and all of that, let's talk about the Nikon D5300. Now when I bought the Nikon D5300, I was between this and uh, maybe a step or so lower. And the reason I chose this was it was a better deal. It had more focus points and um, it's a little bit of a better camera for not much more at the time. Today, it's probably still a great camera for you depending on what you're trying to do. Now, for taking photos, it's an awesome camera. We love it. I would keep it, honestly, but it's, um, we don't need that many cameras in our lives. One camera that can do video and photo is what we're going for. And this one takes great videos too, but the autofocus, the lack of good autofocus while shooting video is the killer. It's slow to focus. Um, it's not reliable for autofocus for video. And um, that's really it. It takes great quality videos. If you're able to focus manually and you're really paying attention to it, the video quality coming out of this thing is awesome. I love it. But the problem is, if you hand it to somebody else, my mom, my, my wife, and they're not as focused on focus, then the videos can be blurry and that's basically unusable. Um, and the autofocus is loud if it does work. And you can hear the motor going through the onboard speaker. And we don't use an external microphone yet, that's next on the list. Um, but even so, because the microphone would sit right above the mic, the external microphone would sit on the inboard microphone, you'd still hear the motor of the lens. And again, the lens just isn't reliable, uh, the focus, and that's the killer. But to talk about this camera's ability to take photos, it is unbelievable. We've taken it everywhere we've gone. We've taken to 22 states on our six month RV trip. Um, we have taken great photos of our kids. It has great interchangeable lens options of the Nikon, Nikkor brand, there's a lot of choices. Um, and it's really easy to use. You can use a couple different preset settings or full on manual mode. Again, great photo camera. As a video camera, it falls behind. Um, and that's all there is. I'm not a tech reviewer, I apologize. I just know that this camera is great, but not great for what we're trying to do. So what we're gonna be doing is switching to the Canon M50. I think it's about a lateral move in terms of picture quality, still picture quality, but I gained the Canon dual pixel autofocus. I still have my fully rotatable screen so I can see what I'm filming, if I'm filming myself, or if I'm framing a shot, I can still do weird low angles. Um, the dual pixel autofocus will save us if we hand the camera to somebody who's not as focused on focus like I am. Um, and the still image quality, I believe, should be about the same as our current setup. Um, so that's it. If you have any, any, so that's it. If you have any tips on the M50 or if you've had great luck with the D5300, let us know in the comments. And this camera is for sale right now. So if you're interested, leave a comment below and we'll figure out a way to get in touch. Almost all of our videos have been shot with this D5300. You will notice um, if you watch through our videos that the image quality can be very good. It can also be blurry and that's, that's the killer. Um, our second camera that we're gonna keep for a long time is what you're seeing through right now. It's a GoPro Hero 7 Black. It can shoot 4K, it can go underwater. 
It is a sturdy, rugged, small camera that is perfect for a family like ours. We can hand it to the kids and not really worry about them doing anything. It's always in focus and it's a great camera that has its limitations, but it's also a great tool for what it is. If you understand what a GoPro Hero 7 Black can do, it's a great tool to have in your bag. Um, but our primary video camera is gonna be the M50, most likely, unless you can talk, us, talk me out of it. Um, so again, let me know in the comments and hope to, hopefully this is helpful for you.